I'm Zachary Bugis, and this is my Intro to Computational Thinking final project. The data set I chose was cancer. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States, killing almost 600,000 people a year. Cancer is a group of diseases characterized by the uncontrolled growth and spread of abnormal cells. There are many different types of cancers, such as breast, pancreatic, skin, and lung. Lung cancer accounts for more deaths than any other type. Abstraction. The definition of abstraction is the process of representing real-world entities in a simplified way after removing unnecessary information. In this data set, the real-world entity is cancer. This data set includes race, which is a string, crude upper, which is a float, and crude lower, which is also a float. This data includes the statistics of how cancer can affect millions of people a year, as well as rates at which cancer can affect a population. The crude rate is the number of deaths occurring among the population in a given area during a given year. Crude upper is the number representing the upper bound for the crude rate, and crude lower is a number representing the lower bound for the crude rate. Limitations. Some limitations in this data set include actual rates of cancer affecting a certain race varies because cancer is completely random and doesn't choose a race. Another limitation is the time frame of the data that was collected is unclear. Data map. The data set is a dictionary that starts with a list of reports, such as cancer. Cancer splits off into four keys, age, year, data, and area. And each of those keys can split off into different keys, such as data splits off into count, crude rate, crude upper, crude lower, race, and sex. Questions. First question is, what is the relationship between crude upper and crude lower? And the second question is, what race does cancer affect the most? As you can see on the left, the first visualization is the frequency between crude upper and crude lower. This is also the answer to the second question. This scatter plot represents the frequency between crude upper and crude lower. The rates have a steady increase at the same rate, resulting in a constant increase. The second visualization is a histogram that represents which race cancer affects the most. As you can see, the rates are the same because cancer affects everyone no matter what race you are. Social implications. Stakeholders are doctors, hospital staff, surgeons, healthcare providers, patients, and family. Some of the conflicts that the stakeholders might have are pertinent of people of a certain race might not know what the odds of them getting cancer are because they can't, because the statistics are unclear. This is the honor code. I've neither given nor received unauthorized assistance on this project. Thank you.